So I, I want to talk about David Haskell, because right. what you brought up reminds me of David. And I think you might have seen him when you were studying with me. I did. I did. He worked all the time as an actor. He was working before he studied with me. Right. He was Judas and God spelled the play, God spelled the movie, and all those young people were told this was back in the seventies that none of the pits for you, only the cherries. Of course no one would hire them for anything but Godspell. Mm. He did get a soap right. opera job in those days. Soap operas were more available to legitimate actors. Right. right. So they could earn a living and work in the yeah. theater at night. Yeah. Or study, which is what he did. So anyway, and he, he was not an easy person to teach. He, and then finally, in, in the beginning of interpretation, I said, why do you want to act? He said, I love it. And I said, that is a damn good answer. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's the source of anything. It's like a marriage you make almost, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. in, if, if you're in the arts. And um, all of his problems just stopped. Most of them were self-created, and he just went through interpretation. And it's funny. Uh, he would come back all the time and watch the class. Dancing comes back now and then. Right. You know, a lot of people do. I saw it. Ted came back when I was studying. Yeah. yeah. And, well, it's cold out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, um, so I really appreciate your coming on. I'd like to do another Certainly, another conversation, Love maybe a, maybe yeah. a third. Absolutely, and we'll talk Absolutely. about specific things. So, thank you for coming. Thank you. And um, there'll be a lot on these podcasts. This will be a two or three part conversation with Dan because uh, he's got a lot to say. And thank you for listening. Thank you. <laughs>